starting things off with number 7 Don Bradman Cricket 17. Now this one had some pretty big shoes to fill coming in as a sequel to Don Bradman Cricket 14 which is a game that really set the standard for cricket sims. Unfortunately Don Bradman Cricket 17 didn't quite live up to the expectations. It wasn't a bad game but just didn't capture the same magic. Let's start with the presentation. It's functional but nothing flashy. You can navigate the menus easily enough but it's not exactly exciting. And then there's a big downside. No official licenses, not even Australia or England. That means generic teams, which is always a bummer, especially for those of us who love seeing real players and teams. Now if you're thinking of picking up the game today, you should know that the servers have been shut down so you can't even access the community created teams and players which were a big part of what made TBC 17 fun for a short while. When it comes to gameplay, the batting feels stiff. It lacks the fluidity that makes timing shots so satisfying in other games. The animations are robotic and that takes away from the immersion as well. The bowling is much better though. They improved on the controls from Don Bratton Cricket 14, making bowling feel more responsive and enjoyable. Still, overall Don Bratton Cricket 17 just doesn't hold up as well as the other games in the series, which is why it ranks at number 7. Coming in at number 6, we've got Big Bash Boom. This one is a bit of a wild card. It's not your traditional cricket game at all. This is more of a fun, arcade style game that doesn't take itself too seriously. The cartoonish bobblehead players and over the top power shots make it feel more like a party game than a serious cricket sim. And honestly, that's where the charm lies. The game has a fun presentation with its colorful visuals and super power shots. It also has all the big bash league licenses. It's easy to pick up and play, especially with friends, and it's a blast in short bursts. But after a while, the novelty wears off, the gameplay doesn't have a lot of depth and it can get repetitive quickly. It's entertaining for a few rounds, but there's not much to keep you hooked in the long term. If it had been priced lower, it probably would have been better received. But as it stands, Big Bash Boom is more of a fun distraction and a game you'll sink a ton of time into. At number 5, we got Cricket 22. This was supposed to be a big step forward for Big End, especially with the more simulation focused gameplay compared to Cricket 19. And while it did bring some solid improvements, it also had its fair share of issues, particularly at launch. Visually, the game is more realistic with subdued colors and better player models. It definitely looks more polished compared to its predecessors. But what really held Cricket 22 back was the amount of bugs at launch. Some of these bugs really impacted gameplay making certain matches feel less immersive. Over time, Big N released patches to fix these issues and the game improved significantly. One area where Cricket 22 does stand out is in the bowling mechanics, especially for fast bowling. There is a good variety of deliveries and it's rewarding when you set up a batsman over a few overs and finally get them out. However, the AI still struggles with spin bowling, leading to some unrealistic match results. The career mode is decent but after a few months, it starts to feel repetitive and all in all, Cricket 22 is a solid game but doesn't quite reach the heights of the top contenders on this list. Coming in at number 4 is Cricket 24, one of the more recent releases from Big End Studios. When it first launched, there was a lot of hype, especially around the revolutionary feeling mechanics. And to be fair, early on the feeling did feel like a step up from the previous games. But after a few patches, things started to go a bit downhill. Fielders would often fail to react to the ball and there were moments where the game just didn't feel as polished as it should. That being said, the throwing mechanics are much smoother and overall feeling has improved. Batting too feels more refined especially with the introduction of a new batting style. However, for those using the arcade controls, there's still some frustrating bugs like the inability to execute certain shots which can really disrupt the flow of the game. Where Cricket 24 excels is in its visual presentation and the number of licenses it includes. IPL teams are fully licensed now except two, which is a huge win for fans of the league. The stadiums, especially in Australia and England, look fantastic. But like I mentioned earlier, Cricket 24 feels more like an enhanced version of Cricket 22 than a full successor, which is why it sits at number 4. At number 3, we have Cricket 19. This is where Big End found the perfect balance between simulation and fun and it's one of those games that appeals to both casual players and hardcore cricket fans alike. The game's presentation is polished with well-designed pre-match cinematics and toss sequences that give it a professional feel even if the bobblehead style player models are still a bit goofy. One of the best things about Cricket 19 is its scenario mode. 
It's such a unique feature allowing you to recreate historic cricket moments or create your own fantasy scenarios. This has a ton of replay value and is something that keeps players coming back. The gameplay leans a little more towards the arcade side but still deep enough for seasoned players. The AI is improved compared to earlier games and offers a decent challenge, especially in longer formats like test matches. Cricket 19 is one of those games that has stood the test of time and that's why it ranks in the top 3. Coming in at number 2 is Ashes Cricket 17. Now this is one of the most complete cricket games Big End has ever put out. The fact that it's fully licensed for the Ashes series has a whole new level of immersion and the player face scans for Ashes stars were groundbreaking at the time. The gameplay is where Ashes 17 really shines, particularly the batting. Pro controls give you a lot of freedom and nailing the perfect shot feels incredibly rewarding. The bowling is just as satisfying, especially when you manage to set up a batsman with a clever mix of deliveries. The AI provides a decent challenge, particularly in test matches and playing through an entire Ashes series feels genuinely epic. There are a few minor issues like repetitive commentary and some occasional bugs, but overall Ashes Cricket 17 is one of the best cricket games ever made. It's polished, immersive and incredibly fun, which is why it lands so high on the list. And finally taking the top spot at number 1 is a game that started it all for Big End Studios, Don Bradman Cricket 14. This game is an absolute classic and even today it is still regarded as one of the best cricket scenes ever made. DBC 14 set the standard for cricket games and a lot of what makes Big End's later games great started here. The controls were revolutionary at the time, giving players full control over batting and bowling like never before. The pro controls were a game changer, allowing you to play a variety of shots with precision and the bowling system was deep and challenging. The AI was tough, especially in longer formats like test cricket, making every match feel rewarding. The community aspect of Don Batten Cricket 14 was also a big part of its success. Even though it didn't have official licenses, players could create and share custom teams and players, which made up for the lack of real-world teams. It was groundbreaking at the time and there's a big reason why the game holds such a special place in the hearts of cricket fans. For me, Don Batman Cricket 14 is a clear number one and I don't see that changing anytime soon. And there you have it, my rankings for Big and Studios Cricket games. I know opinions can vary and some of you might rank these games differently which is totally fair. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Did I get it right or would you change up the list? Love to hear what you think. Until next time, it's goodbye from me. Take care. Have a nice one.